On Wednesday, May 22nd, the Pike County Cooperative Extension Office formally welcomed their new 4-H agent. Emily Cheney says she's ready to offer her skill set to the Extension Office and overcome any challenges she faces. Mountaintop News spoke with Cheney to hear more. I am super, super excited to join the Extension team. Um, I've worked with several of them before and they're very, very welcoming. They've made me feel right at home. Um, the reception is all in my honor. It's all 4-H themed and it's just been really great to make the transition here. The University of Kentucky is a terrific place. They've been nothing but welcoming to me and I could absolutely see myself staying here for a long time. The only challenging part is I'm very new to 4-H as a program. Um, so this is my first time going to camp ever, this camp that's coming up. And so it's going to be a, it's going to be a learning experience, but I'm super excited to, to get, be able to do it. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Chaney's background as a middle school teacher gives her some experience working with children. She plans to continue teaching via the 4-H program rather than a traditional classroom setting. Well, I volunteered with Extension for a long time when I was growing up through the arts program. I did a lot with Artist Collaborative Theater and I volunteered a lot there. Um, and then I got my teaching degree when I went to college and I found the love of helping children. And so I came back to the area and I became a middle school teacher. And I just fell in love with working with children, but my favorite part was the stuff outside of the classroom. I started a drama club at my school and it was one of the best parts of my day was getting to work with kids outside of the traditional classroom setting. And so when this job came available and I had the option to be able to program and teach children not in the traditional classroom setting, but more in a program experience-based setting, I jumped on it. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.